So we're here at Hero Circle. I'm with a bull bay in St. Thomas. But today we're in Portland. I'm so excited. Oh wait, no, I don't have a bandana. So we're at Hero Circle with Sonny and Best Ever Review Show and we're now about to try some roast corn. There's roast yam and they also have the crab that you see up there, the spicy boiled crab. Hero Circle is known for the fast food that we have in Jamaica. They boil the crab right here on the side of the road, you're right next to Hero Circle. And then you have the corn pot as well. See that everything I go on here, so she has put out the crab right now in a some pot. And the crab look amazing. And she has the corn pot right now, just a boil. And why not this now? Man? Pepper, pastelly and thyme. And just, you just season the corn? Just season the corn. Many people just pull up, grab a corn piece of dry coconut and hit the road. The main attraction is undoubtedly the crab. The crab is something special cooked down in jerk seasoning mixed with onions, scallions, thyme, pimento and of course scotch bonnet pepper. Oh, Mitzi, how, how, how the can stay? Can, okay. Yeah, me can, the yam. <laughs> Okay, it's going on. Checking it. Looking a yellow yam. Going on, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chillin' a yellow yam. Yeah. All different fire sugar. How much does she name this in charge? Less than she. So now it is roasting, catching yes. its color. Why you in a half a tree? Not really quite no, ready as yet, but catching color. Well, I know I suck more for the artificial sugar. with a bull bay in St. Thomas with Sonny and the rest of the crew and we're here to check out some Irish malt. We have Black Hero, wicked reggae artist who is with us today and we're going to check out some Irish malt now right at a little corner store before we turn to go to Bobo Hill. We have Irish malt, we have some fish in there, we cooked down some brown stew fish but everything in there is really an ital vibe because you know so we are head up to the Bobo Hill so anything in there they have little okra panel, little banana, little dumpling and them thing that they also have the Irish malt what we are going to check out right now. It look like some lime Lime juice blend up in that so all off and we see what the vibes be right to say in a bull beer. Big up, they see black hero is with us, sunny them over here, so I hold a reason by the rum bar. Look like them want to start it early. Some countries have fish at street food mm -hmm. and they cook it and then it just hangs out all day. And then when people are ready, they throw it on the plate. Go out here on the Irish mush, they're doing the shoot right now with Black Hero. I'm not in the shoot. But may I go try the Irish mush with another card? That the match, right? Irish mush is a thing that I used to dive up as a kid when I grew up on a beach near Walter Fletcher in Montego Bay. Me used to have to go dig up Irish mush and sell to the man. Them or some used to make a little money. When I think everything come easy in our life, you know, but may I tell you, say your nose have to run. Bomba, slimy, slimy like aloe vera. No taste of aloe vera. 
barely a little taste on it. Just a little hint. Let me try it again. Little honey, a little lime, but not intense. So it's extremely healthy. Irish marsh have extreme health benefits from blood pressure to, as Black Hero tell me, say, good for the man them, if you know what I mean. The man them wanna wanna eat a magnum or drink a magnum and some peanut punch and them thing that the Irish marsh so. Apparently this place is very famous for the Irish marsh they do it fresh and they bottle it here as well. So natural juices, the corn shop, famous corn shop in a bull bay, I saw them Irish marsh. That's what we're trying now, as I said. Very slimy, not even slimy, just thick. It's like it's like aloe, and aloe have no taste, but very healthy, very good health benefits for you. Today we're in Portland, or today we just are try some pan fall right now and then we're heading down to Boston. Stay tuned and we can see what I go on. Sonny and the team over there starting the film and then we're going to start the food. What a giant burger is. Sonny is known everywhere he goes in Jamaica. Everybody comes up and does want a piss, a piss bump. on the side waiting on them to start out as you can see that the food is on him starting it that chicken went take around 20 to 30 minutes for him to get it proper and then you know it's our food time come check out this is godfrey she down here and she have some great coconut drops and if you look on it man you can smell the ginger and it, it, it just yeah, smells it's rich very rich it's rich very rich. how long it take you to prepare it take a good little while you know because the, the, the sugar have in a lot of water yeah and plus we have to make the sugar marinate, marinate. in the coconut first and you have to deal with all of these coconuts as well yes and you have to sit down and cut them up mm -hmm. and you have to thread your ginger and catch a coal fire it can done on the gas too but it's more better doing it on the, on the coal fire and the coal yeah, fire that taste better everything you know and then for drop it now, if it not come down to the right gravy, it can't drop because it has to dry out all the water out of it for it to drop. And you know any good old banana leaf? Yes, yeah man, you drop it out so it can come off good so it's set yeah, properly. Yeah, and then you scrape off the one one grain and left on the coconut. Yo, the, the smell of the coconut drop, I can't wait for buy some of that and try that. I'll tell you, sir, it smell amazing. I mean, I, I as Mrs. Godfrey just sit down here and talk and she just pull out it. Come up for buy a water and she just pull out and start coconut drop and just start mad my nose right away. Mm. Don't eat too much or drink a lot of water. Well, enough ginger in there, so I don't have to catch no calico or no molly gripe and fuck the complete. No, no, no. <laughs> no. And we can see say cook with the love, you know? Yes, yes. And guess what? It done late night. You done late night? Mm -hmm. Fresh and nice, so you know. Done late. Now sit down and bake. No. Which street this is? This Alan Avenue. Alan Avenue. 2A Alan Avenue. Here, Miss God, Mrs. Godfrey, there are 2A Alan Avenue. So if you want to come check her out as you come through Portland, she's right here on the right hand side, heading down towards Boston side. So she's right here on the right. I'm going to show you the shop and check her out. Mrs. Godfrey and I smell it and I say Boston style she say if you have jerk down the saw Boston style jerk up the saw Boston style might as well we call it what? Boston style or Portland style Portland style <laughs> it more fit for Portland style more than Boston style more than style. Boston style yes yeah man yes. 
the give the parish its props. Give the parish, give the parish its props. Right from there, I said someone else on nice pump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Some peas in that too. Yeah. You know cover for them? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bigger cover them up so we can get them up. And what kind, what kind of fish this here, sir? Snap and grunt. Snap and grunt? Yeah. Wrap up and roast up and thing. Yeah, and stuff and thing too. Fuck, stuff and thing. Stuff and Yeah. Mad, mad, mad. Yeah, my boss. Two of them? Eh? Yeah, two of them, that place. So right on the road, right up there, so you know, so the man have the conks, two conks in the pile will wrap up and nice, and then the conks soup as well. That's where it's at. Yeah, man. Oh, God. Okra and everything down in there. That looks good. That looks good. That looks really good. Welcome to Boston, Portland, what is credited as the original birthplace of jerk cuisine and the first instance of jerk cook for commercial sale in Jamaica. The area is west of San San and Port Antonio. It's still home to the original jerk pits, which eventually became the Boston Jerk Center. We met up with JJ from Boston and JJ seasoned up some pork, some chicken, but also some goat and rabbit. Slice it real thin. You can soak, jerk sauce and soak inside. Put it like that. Try to use the meat off the leg. Put it like that. Right around. Stuff it sauce inside. Stuff it. It's gonna be really, really, really thin. And we got less fat on it. When you got less fat, you have to take our time with it because we just burn and don't cook. You have to season it up. And Then now, still going to have a little drink, and then we get back, ready to go on the grip. Then we we'll soak here towards that's what we're going to do. You can smell. It smells amazing. You can, it smells amazing, right? Oh, that pepper. That pepper. That pepper. Let me tell you. you can smell the pepper and the pimento. The, the two most distinct smells is the pimento. You can taste it, you know, the dip your finger and then taste it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, let me taste one of that. I'm so hot, boy. Hot fire. Alright, next thing it goes, that goes out down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you put it right there. Yeah, I think he is. I'm going right back in it, sir. Mm -hmm. Me and JJ, T4, thank God. Two shots are up. Yes, it's all right. No joke. No joke. Yeah, no joke. We can drop with teeth out and go on for two shots around so we are loose up with tongue for go back at this. <laughs> <laughs> This is the pimento wood chips that they used to put under the sweet wood to still have that pimento flavor in it. You know that the pimento wood is not as sustainable to cut down a tree to basically put the hog on it and then have to throw that wood out. So they use a little pimento wood here is what he's saying and then burn it down to coal and use that as the flavoring of the hog. Thank you.
I'm going to put a little bit on here. Yeah, man. Talk to talk. You don't need too much. You don't need too much because trust me. The heat is Bro. on it and the heat is in it. Heat, but it's also it can be salty. It can be salty. Yeah, it can't they can't bring the salt because there's vinegar as well used in most of the pepper salt mm -hmm. and preserves. Cheers. The end of it, we're leaving Boston. Had a lot of jerk, we had jerk goat, jerk rabbit, and now we're on to the next thing, which is in Mobile. We are going west. I'm gonna have some jerk hog. You ready for some jerk hog in Mobile, Sonny? Yes, we're doing jerk hog. We're jerking a whole hog. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a bandana. Are you still hungry? No. Okay, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, but